All right, here we are with a rocket collection. Got a big one in the making there. That one's not finished. There's some inside parts. And we've got everything from Micromax, which uh, uses these little motors here. You can see how small they are. Pretty much like a bottle rocket. You got these little guys. And, and we've got everything up to some level one or two type stuff. And this project here would certainly be a uh, level two. Will it fly? I don't know. It's 54 millimeter diameter motor. But uh, lots of fun stuff here. We got the Micromax. We got a surplus of parachutes, including nice ripstop parachutes. Some extra body tubes. There's a 38 millimeter motor tube. Some lugs. A traditional launch controller. There's a blast pad. Some plugs. Some rings. Some random parts. A bag of rubber bands. This here is a wireless launch controller. So you use the controller here and you can stand a good distance away and it transmits and then fires uh, power through the coil to an electric match or igniter. This is a lock precision weasel. It was made with a 38 millimeter min diameter. The purple one is a scratch built. Balsa nose, pretty lightweight, made with a 24 millimeter. That one has not flown. We don't know about its stability. The blue one here is a Lock Precision Forte, 38 millimeter, really nice rocket for doing a level one certification. That's a pretty decent rocket. This here is a project. It's a it's a um, Estes Pro Argent. And it was supposed to be a 29 millimeter, but we upgraded it to a 38, because why not? So that's the Argent missile. Just needs paint and some tweaking. The pink one over in the corner is an Estes Leviathan. Now that rocket uh, is a 29 millimeter, has the motor retainer built to stock. And we have flown that several times. Really nice flying rocket. Then the red and black, we have an Estes Executioner. You can see the decals over here. That rocket we've flown several times. The Executioner we upgraded from a 24 millimeter to a 29 millimeter. We have flown that on some pretty decent 29s, and that sucker goes. And then we got the Grunt here. I believe the Grunt we upgraded to a 24 millimeter. Extra Ogive nose cone. This is a uh, 29 millimeter motor mount for a 38 millimeter rocket with the screw on uh, retainer. That right there is a adapter so you can run 24 millimeter motors into a 29 millimeter rocket. Here's another adapter that allows you to run 29 millimeter motors in a 38 millimeter rocket mount. Down on the far corner there, we have the Semrock Moon Glow. That's kind of a sporty little 50s looking space age thing. That rocket actually is my favorite of all of these. I took a lot of time to build it very carefully. And it has glow in the dark paint, which uh, is kind of cool. It had some more decals that fell off, but I kind of like it just because it glows and it's got that old school space age look. So that's pretty much all the standard parts. This thing over here is uh, just kind of a dream. Will it fly? Can it fly? Don't know. Uh, we got 8-inch uh, concrete form tubes from Menards. One is painted, one is not. And the plan was to build something that maybe could fly and not plan to launch it and just keep it as a static display. So as you can see, it's coming along. Uh, if we put all these parts together, it's all component rocketry, so you can take every part apart. It's all screwed together in the end, and if you need to replace something, you just 
take it apart. The whole motor tube here and uh, housing and fins is designed to slide right out the back. Um, so that's why the tabs for the fins are like that. Uh, it just needs a, uh, someone needs to form a nose for it. Maybe, maybe fiberglass or foam. Usually cutting foam and shaping it and fiberglassing it is the best way to make a cone for a big rocket. But if nothing else, if someone finishes it, uh, it's sure a neat piece to have sitting in your basement or your, or your, um, garage. So that's it. That's uh, our household rocket collection. And there it is. Fun stuff.